What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Today's conversation, I want to share with you guys why I stopped counting how old I was. Actually, I, you know, I celebrate my birthday, but you know, instead of putting candles on a cake and saying how old I am, I gave that up completely. I want to tell you why. Let's get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this is on Facebook, make sure you subscribe to our Facebook page. This is on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit, create an online brand, and help you earn income online. Today's conversation, I want to talk with you guys about why I stopped counting my age. I shared with you guys in previous videos how I got started in being an entrepreneur very young. Around, I would say about 15 or so was when I found myself in the very first convention floor. We were sharing magazines, Black Tie magazines, uh, which was a subscription-based service for a local magazine company in Houston. And we would basically be out there pitching, you know, selling, selling subscriptions. And I had success with that at a very young age. My mom was doing it, so that's why I was there. And I learned from her, watching her do multiple businesses over time. And I had some success when marketing Black Tie Magazine. When we left Black Tie Magazine, I came of age. I started sharing dental vision prescription at the age of 18. And I also got in a number of other uh, entrepreneur endeavors. And what's so funny is, is that in the course of my early years of being an entrepreneur, I would have some level of success but I, will, I would always reach some plateau. And in that plateau, I would always find reasons, some people call them excuses. I would find reasons on why I wasn't being successful. One of the reasons that I always seemed to come back to was I was too young. You know, I'm too young, if I was older, then I would have success. If I was older, then people would respect the things that I'm saying, etc. What's weird, is around 30 years old, I started to ask myself, what's the difference between being old and being young? And it's really just the interpretation of how you feel, you know, how long you're gonna be on the earth for, quite honestly. Are you, you know, is your time limited? Are you gonna be here for many, many years? You really don't know. And in the sense of that, you know, you don't really know if you're old or if you're young. So. I realized that I was using the excuse of being young to prevent me from taking action, but here it is, I'm turning 30, and now I'm starting to question, what's too old to be successful? You know, for years I've been walking around with the excuse that I'm too young, but now I'm wondering, am I too old to be successful? And that's a crazy thought process, right? I'm pretty sure you guys have heard some of the greats like uh, the guy who invented Kentucky Fried Chicken, how he shared his recipes, Colonel Sanders, how he shared his recipes with thousands of people before he had his big break at an older age. Uh, same story with the lady who wrote, I want to say it's the, the Rings, the Lord of Rings, but it's not, it's the other, other book. You guys know the book that I'm talking about. She was much older in age when she, she got that off the ground. So there is definitely no age limit as far as when you could break out of success. I want to make sure I make that very clear. You know, you're never too old to be successful or to break, make, have your first breakout. So here it is, I'm 30, I'm thinking I'm too old. And it's so weird, all the years before I was thinking I was too young. And then I just said, you know, forget this whole age thing. You know, when I come make another lip, a trip around the sun next year, I'm just going to celebrate that. You know, that's really what we celebrate when we celebrate our yearly birthday. We're celebrating another successful trip around the sun on this side, okay? Uh, above ground, if you will. And what's so weird is, is, you know, I was able to come to terms with, oh, I'm not too 
Oh, well, it's individuals who are watching these videos. They're not yet 30. They don't know whether or not they're too old or too young. And if I can do anything in this video, I really want to share, upon, share with you guys or impress upon you guys the fact that you're not too young either. You know, it's a lot of information going around about how you are not too old to be successful, but there's not enough information to help young people. You know, it's a lot of people who have these fantastic YouTube channels, who are building wonderful brands, but it's a lot of people who are hesitant to pursue these kind of dreams and ambitions because of the fact that they feel too young. Well, if I could share anything with you guys, you're not too young, you're not too old. Today is the day you should start growing your dreams. You know, I was looking at YouTube yesterday and I'm seeking out more information, steady learning. You know, I'm on YouTube trying to help whomever can uh, benefit from what I'm offering. But I'm also on YouTube seeking out a diff additional information that can help me and my story progress as well. And yesterday, I'm sitting on YouTube and I uh, check out this guy. He has to be 13 years old. Doing fantastic. Has over 1 million subscribers and his content is beautiful his content is absolutely stunning he's providing so much value he's progressing people along and achieving their goals uh, in his individual niche and i just want to applaud him for that i think that's absolutely fantastic and he i'm sure is generating a significant amount of income through his affiliates affiliate networks that he's a part of in addition to his youtube ads that he has running so again if i could share anything really want to uh, impress upon you guys that you're not too old, you're not too young. I stopped counting my age at 30. If you were to ask me right now how old I am and I only had 20 seconds to, to, to give you an answer, I probably couldn't give you the correct answer because I really stopped. It took a while to get to the point where I really just completely forgot how old I am, but I feel better for it. You know, it's not for everybody, you know, but I feel better knowing that my goal is to wake up each and every day, do the best that I can in today, love as many people as I can today, and that's about it. I don't care how old I am. I don't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too old to stop loving, and I'm not too young to stop loving. I'm not too old to stop growing, and I'm not too young to stop growing. I'm here today, and I'm going to do my best. So that's why I stopped counting my age, <laughs> because I wanted to let go of the excuse that was crippling me for many years. I hope you guys let go of the excuse, whichever way you go about achieving that. I hope that you guys do it, because today is the day that you should take action on your dreams and goals. So with that being said, hopefully you come over to our community today. We have tons of information down below in the description box that can help you get started wherever you are when, in turning your passion into profit. So until we talk again, take care and be blessed.